Hello! This video is going to be the test of three amps. But this amp is currently being held by a guitar. Okay, so this is an amp. It's a Yamaha. We got it from the library, Toronto Public Library, Parkdale Branch. This is the uh, Yamaha amp that you get with the Stratocaster electric guitar right-handed. Um, it's got gain, which is basically volume, as far as I know. Or maybe that's master. Maybe master and gain are both the same. Uh, I really don't know about this stuff. And then it has treble and bass. Uh, bass. Treble and bass. And uh, I... I was told recently that the female sound is treble up high and bass down low. Um, I think they said that. So that's our first amp. Our second amp came with an uh, Amazon.com $150 Stratocaster. Pretty similar to the Stratocaster the library got me that I got for $150 and it was $50 off and now I had this had to have this repaired so we got gain which yeah I'm pretty sure that is the volume plus we have this like phase inducer which like boosts the volume to super volume volume and tone um, and it's by Rock Jam and the stickers kind of coming off uh, I had to get this fixed. It only cost $16 to get it fixed. They just had to do a little bit of soldering. Oh, what, what, what do you know? We have more amps. Okay. I don't think I'm going to cover this one in this video because unless I'm mistaken, the battery's dead. Uh, but this takes a 9 volt battery. Um, not gonna... It's a cool thing. Portable amp. Not going to touch it today. Um, I completely forgot about this. We have our Epiphone amp. Um, just give me a second here. Uh, so, it's a, it's a pretty good amp. It's got a lot of, like, staticky feedback. Uh, you have to stay clear of the amp with your guitar. And the first amp I ever got, my friend gave it to me. Uh, he didn't even ask for money. I gave him $40. Uh, PV. I took it apart as much as I could. Put it back together as much as I could. And yeah, that's this guy here. If we just like, I'm... Okay, so here we go. We've got our normal gain. So that is definitely the volume. I don't know what bright and channel does. Equalizations, lead gain, voicing. See, this has slots for two guitars can go in here. Um, and then two pedals can come out. So this is a monster. This is everything I could possibly ask for in a solo project, especially at the beginning. This is like, I'm still ahead of my capabilities. Like, if you ask me for like what I needed now, I need this. Or like, Maybe, I don't know, we can play with the volume. Maybe I need something like this. Um, this is uh, not quite good enough for me at this point, I can happily say. Um, but on the plus side, it's kind of free. Uh, it's kind of like a free add-on. Um, and it's like... I paid, you get what you pay for, and this guy, this is just cool, this is just really cool, um, it's for playing in the park, 
pretty much. And so we're gonna we're gonna get our uh, Les Paul um, Les Paul uh, guitar out. It's the special two, which I found out in a YouTube video recently, is actually the uh, the special Les Paul Epiphone Special 2 is actually the most cheap you can possibly afford for a, a, for a Les Paul. Somehow Les Pauls are good. I want a, a semi-hollow body myself. Um, but I got this for maybe like... I think it was... Um, I think I got this for um, uh, about. Well, my mind's breaking. Okay, I got it one seventy four plus there was tax plus there was shipping, and so it came to like more like two fifty. Um, uh, so I bought it online. And you know, I'm, I'm not a guitar expert, and playing naked like this... Okay, so... So I'm just gonna do the easiest song I can possibly play, Pure Love Song. We've got some tone on this. Let's go in the descending order of what I think the amps are good at. So the next one is our Epiphone amp. Uh, just place it, place it where it was, and put the pick down. Okay, so uh, do, do, do. Wait, are we plugged in? No, we're not plugged in. Okay. <laughs> Woo! There we go. some feedback. Well, this is way too high up here. Turn that guy down. Turn these guys down.
such a cure of love song if it's not already obvious. Like, did, did, did I say that yet? Doesn't matter. Uh, I've been playing that for a lot of videos. And all rights to owners, of course. Um, so that wasn't actually that bad, and that sounded like it really had some range that it could change a bit. And so now we're going to play the library amp, which upon my first play, and I played it once, and I was not that impressed, but we can change the gain and stuff, or whatever, the presets. See, so yeah, I'm a cool rock guy, I know cool rock terms. kind of cool. I kind of like that. I wouldn't say no to that. If someone said, like, do you want this amp? I would say, yes, I want that song. If someone said, this will be the only amp you will ever have. Do you want this? I would say, yes. It's like all, all or nothing. Like, this amp or no other amp ever. Never have another amp. Uh, <coughs> mm. So this is the rock jam amp. Um, plug this guy in. And uh, turn it on.